Album titles need to be fairly non-specific. You can't um, you can't have a title that that implies all these songs are about my pet goldfish. You know, it's, it's it has to be general and fairly ambiguous. And I noticed that a few of the songs, the love songs as well as the more kind of introspective songs, were dealing with conflicts of one kind or another, either conflicts within one's own heart or conflicts between people in relationships family conflicts so it just seemed to fit that and I liked I liked the idea of taking a, a stock historical term and then applying it to something else and changing the meaning of it so I mean it, as soon as you apply it to a, an album of songs then whoever sees that immediately realises that, that, that this phrase has been taken away from its specific meaning of the 1914-18 Great War it's, it's a lot less autobiographical than, than the first solo record it's not quite as difficult to sing as the first one was which sometimes was, the first one was pretty close to the bone because I wanted to be really uh, no holds barred very open about you know what an idiot I am or men can be really and I didn't really want to I, did, I didn't want to disguise that whereas I think in this record it's a bit it's a bit more palatable I mean the lo- there's quite a few happy love songs on this record I mean there's still a fair amount of, of what I would call middle-aged angst-ridden misogyny but uh um, there's also some nice things. I can tell you that, that on the previous solo record, I, did, I deliberately excised anything that sounded too like the Elimit Show. On this record, I didn't worry about it. I just, I just wrote the songs that I felt were right for the record. And if something reminded me a bit of something that I'd done in the 90s or the 80s, it didn't really bother me.